Thank you, members of the board, members of the community. Good evening. It's great to be with you all tonight. Uh, I know it's our last regular uh, board meeting of the year. Can't believe that. Uh, but I also have a vision uh, that I'd like to share as a result of kind of a year in culmination. I can imagine and dream of tomorrow's newspaper. We all wake up and the front page shares that champion PSD students and staff are recognized at the local, the state, the national, and global level for character, for leadership, for their brilliance, for their service and sacrifice to each other in their country, for their scholarship, and for their athleticism. I'm so proud, like all of you, of all of the great things that are happening in partnership with our students to allow them to thrive. Uh, there are so many celebrations at the end of the year and the things that Madeline and other staff members alongside of you have shared. It's really deserving of, in my opinion, a public campaign to lift up all of the people in this community for the re their resilience and their persistence to navigate really tough times. That doesn't just include our staff, our teachers, our principals, the people who help cultivate that excellence in our classrooms. It's also a celebration of our families who not just trust us but partner with us and invest in their children to make them reach their very, very, uh, their, their potential. So I'm so excited about that. And I don't know, we have a reporter here tonight. If you can do anything to make that happen, I would just uh, <laughs> let me know if you need me to talk to your editor. Uh, I would also say, you know, this is a time for rest um, for everybody. I'm hopeful that our entire community can find time this summer to recharge to reconnect with loved ones, to slow things down, uh, to connect with each other. Uh, I'm really proud of our opportunity last night at Bolts Middle School to engage with our community in an open civil dialogue centered on improving communications and transparency. It was incredibly well attended. I think we had at least 45 members of our community, some here again tonight, and shared their heart, shared their mind, and gave us really solid feedback as a school district around things that we can do better at. Um, and it's our obligation as a staff to listen and to put many of those things uh, into practice. As I shared with uh, the community at our last meeting, uh, and I'll say it again, we have to overcome our inability to address our differences. It's not our differences that are the problem, it's how we are addressing them or not addressing them together through dialogue. And their community has been asking for that. And so what happened last night is going to happen again. Uh, and I want to make sure I get the date right, at August 4th. Uh, so super excited. I think that's, again, from 5.30 to 7.30. Um, and this will be something that persists. Our topics may change, uh, but continuing to engage with our community in different ways over the summer and over the course of the next year uh, will be a new normal if it hasn't already been established prior to uh, the, the pandemic. So super excited about that. I would also share, uh, while it is the summertime of resting and recharging, there's also a lot of staff members that I get a chance to be flanked by that are working really hard to make sure next year is successful. That's even better than this year. And that extends from our learning and teaching division to our operations division, the acceleration and excitement around making sure that all of our, our furniture gets delivered to our new buildings and we have HVAC updates and upgrades and our facilities get cleaned and all of these things that are happening around the clock to make sure that when people come back, they feel joy, uh, they feel connection, and they feel like they're a part of something bigger than themselves. So I want to say thank you uh, to all the staff who are working around the clock during a downtime to make sure next year is successful. What you do every day uh, doesn't go unnoticed and what you do matters. I would also say in closing that recently we had a uh, summer learning institute that was incredibly well attended by both our licensed staff uh, as well as our classified staff and their commitment to volunteer their time uh, to continue to grow in their efficacy and be better as a professional in our organization um, after a school year and in the midst of a pandemic says a lot around our team uh, and their commitment to being the very best they can be for our children. Uh, and had an opportunity to personally attend that. I know many of the board members had a chance to stop by and learn and connect and grow with some of our professionals. And it just says a lot about the fortitude and the commitment to excellence that this district has, while also recognizing as we engage with our community, we have a commitment to doing things better. Um, we're not perfect. Uh, we're learning from each other. 
uh, and we're having experiences where we do want to grow together as a community and I think those are, things are happening every day and I'm very proud to be a part of it alongside all of you. And that concludes my remarks tonight and thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my story with the community. Thanks very much, Superintendent Kingsley. Really appreciate it as always.